Hello again you guys, it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and welcome back to my channel. So this is a channel all about thrifting if you are new here, thrifting and then reselling online for a profit. So I personally sell on Etsy, eBay and Poshmark and this video is going to be in particular all about Poshmark. So I figured I would share with you today, screen share, um, basically my most recent top 10 biggest profit sales if you like that was a mouthful I know but you kind of know what I'm getting at basically the most recent sales that I've had the top 10 um that have turned me the biggest profit made me the most money and um, so what I'll do is show you each item like I said they have all sold on Poshmark buyers pay shipping on Poshmark so there's no shipping here although do bear in mind occasionally I do when I send out offers to likers I will be putting in there um my little shipping discount of a couple of dollars so just bear in mind that they that might kind of come into play here a little bit just for you know transparency if you like um but overall that I'm just gonna take you through each and every item and let you know what I paid for it what it sold for what my profit was and I'll try and give you an idea of how quickly it flipped for as well so here we go and when I say recent by the way it's in like the last few months really a handful of months all right so here we go fry uh black leather double monk strap shoes and these were a women's but they were part of a collection that basically kind of looked like more masculine shoes i thought they were kind of awesome and um, i got these from a thrift store i'm going to go ahead and show you the logo there just so that you're aware of it these are fantastic shoes to pick up if you find them i would definitely suggest grabbing them they usually have a little logo as well right here on the sort of outside of the shoe um, and i'll pay up for these as well i usually pay you know at least 20 dollars. I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with after that i have to kind of hum and haw about it a little bit but i paid three dollars and 80 cents for these that was my average cost of goods that i have noted down for these shoes and like i said they were from a thrift store they had a um sort of half price sale if you like and so i got lots and lots of, of items that day some very very low price these i think were actually a little bit higher they probably were about 15 but like i said the average cost of goods came into play and how i recorded it so three dollars and eighty cents is what i'm saying here uh, they sold for a hundred dollars as you can see here and so that would make my profit there after the 20 percent fees on poshmark uh, and after the cost of goods what i paid for them my walk away profit was 76 dollars and 20 cents um, and these were a pretty good turnaround as well. They were probably listed for about four months, which is not too bad at all for a higher end item. That's okay with me. They're easy to store, easy to ship, and that's a pretty darn good profit right there. My next item, um, I loved this piece. I fell in love with it as soon as I found it. I found this at a thrift store and I paid $3 for this. So it's a vintage, as you can see, granny square. That's kind of like, you know, the square pattern you can see. This one shows it off a little bit easier. Um, and it was like a rainbow tie dye. It was fantastic. So yes, $3, it was massive. And it was listed for about a month or so before it sold. And it sold for a best offer here of $70. I had it listed at 100 someone offered 70 i accepted so that is a profit there of 53 dollars and again not a bad time frame either okay next we have a 50 dollars sale so this is gustin uh, let me see if i can kind of zoom in on the label a little bit for, bit for you there so you can kind of see it up there and this is what it looks like on the inside i found these at a yard sale and i picked them up for one dollar and i picked them up because i could just tell the quality as soon as i touched these jeans they just felt like such quality they felt expensive they were a men's jean um and i still don't know too much about them other than they do retail quite high and they sold for fifty dollars like i said i paid a dollar for them so that is a 39 dollar profit and they probably took about six months to sell so just a little bit slower than the others there all right now these were a quick flip which is always lovely salvatore ferragamo i picked these up at a thrift store right in my house um what a random find they don't usually have higher end stuff like this but i'm always happy with it and they charge three dollars per pair of shoes there so three dollars for these um these again are a higher end brand they retail high they were extremely narrow they were a a a a a very narrow but they still sold in like two days of being listed they were such a quick flip and they showed us that they sold for the fifty dollars that you see here. Like I said, I paid three, so that is a profit of thirty-seven dollars on those. And again, quick flip. Another pair of shoes here, Merrell or Morel, however you say that. Um this kind of hit or miss for me these particular shoes the boots they had like the style number in them so i could identify exactly what they were women's size seven i picked them up for two dollars at a yard sale and they were in good shape but i have some other like hiking boots or hiking shoes i guess that aren't 
this particular type, the waterproof ones and stuff, um, that are still sitting. So I guess I just got lucky with these. Again, that style number in the tongue there, like when you turn it over, you can always stop and look that up at a yard sale or thrift store and just see if what you have is worth anything. But $2 for these, they sold for $45. That gives me a profit of $34. This one is a very recent one as well. And again, a quick flip, only listed for about two weeks. I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. It was brand new with tags Gymshark, just a hoodie, men's small. Um, so yes, $1 sold for 40 on a best offer. And that is a profit of $31. And again, nice and quick. We like those. Okay, so this and a couple more, a little bit of a cheat, but you'll see what I mean. So my cost of goods for these is zero because these were my husband's and he just never wore them. So I took them back and I sold them online. But I wanted to share them because they brought in a good profit. Um, well, obviously profit because I had sort of zero in them. He'd had them in the closet for years. But um, they, they had a good resale value basically is what I'm saying. So I wanted to show them to you. And that way, if you kind of see them when you're out thrifting, maybe you'll stop and take a look. So Converse and this collaboration with DC Comics. These are the Batman high top sneakers. You have like the Bat Signal and all that kind of stuff on them. There's lots of different variations these ones you didn't see as much of like i said they were a few years old at this point and they were in such good shape because the man barely wore them um so yeah 40 dollars, so not bad at all so technically that's a profit of 32 if you don't count the fact that i bought them for him like eight years ago or whatever it was um but yeah i would definitely pick them up if i was outsourcing next is this millie dress millie is again a higher end brand absolutely stunning dress unfortunately it did have a little bit of a flaw right back here at the back it was kind of like splitting a little bit i disclosed all that and no problems whatsoever and it still sold for 35 and it sold again within two to three weeks so again nice quick flip and um, my cost of goods actually still zero on this because this was a part of an inventory box as is one other item coming up that someone very kindly donated to me right back when the Great Unpleasantness began in March. Um, so I don't think I have any money in this, but again, it was a quick flip and it was a good sort of resale value item. So I wanted to include it in here because it's recent and that way you can see a little bit what's selling right now in the marketplace. So $35 this sold for, even with the floor, which is a profit of 28. Uh, this vintage dress I picked up at a rummage sale and I think the dresses were $3 is what I have down here. So denim, super 90s, bib overall style dress with full buttons up the sides. One button was missing, unfortunately. I just disclosed it. I didn't want to repair it. Um, and so, yeah, paid $3. It sold for $35 and, uh, yeah, $25 profit. Now, this was probably listed for a few months at this point. So... Um, let me think, probably a good few months actually, maybe like, I'm gonna say like four to five months. But again, vintage items are a little bit kind of longer tail if you like. And sometimes you just have to wait for that right buyer unless it's something that really appeals to the masses. So it was completely expected. All right, here comes my last number 10 item. So like I said, um, this is actually my one other item that my cost of goods was zero for because it was donated to me very kindly by a fellow reseller. It's Lululemon pink uh, speed up running shorts. They're lined and all that kind of stuff inside as well they had like a tropical floral band uh put them up for 30 oh, i think I had them up for maybe 35 someone offered me 30 i think i think that's how it went down I and mean, it sold basically within one to two days like under 48 hours for sure so again quick quick flip which is why i wanted to show that to you and again if you can pick these up for just a couple of bucks that's a fantastic return on investment and so that would be a profit there for me for 24 dollars dollars all right you guys let me know what you thought of this video and let me know what is your best item sort of recently that you've made the most profit on my favorite thing is when you or i find something for like 25 cents like something so incredibly cheap and then we make one heck of a lot of money off of it that is nothing quite as exciting as a reseller as doing that but it's always good you know even if you have to pay th thrift store prices it's always good at the end of the day to make a great profit so let me know down below in the comments what your favorite set is recently that you've made that most profit off and what kind of brands you always look to pick up because of that fantastic profit margin all right you guys thank you so much for hanging out like i said if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you like thrifty content and you haven't subscribed yet please do think about hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you can come back and hang out some more all right you guys i'll catch you in the next one bye